Hey guys, Brandon here. So today I want to go over the benefits of having and using supers, as in a super form of an incomplete dominant gene, in your collection and how you can use that to help leverage your odds in your breeding program. Also stay till the end for some exciting news and something that we're looking forward to here. So that intro clip that you've seen was actually a recent clutch that we had from our sunset male bred to this super spark leopard female. And this is where having a super greatly benefits you. With these babies, every single baby we know is at least a spark. And I think that's super helpful when you're dealing with mutations such as spark, yellow belly, any of those other things, especially when mixed with other genes. And they can be a little bit subtle and you definitely do not want to misidentify any of those offspring. So while she is a recent example in a clutch that we had, you might remember from our past video, Backup Males and How to Use Them, that we talked about using a pastel super Enchi desert ghost head hypo male as a backup because when you breed him to whatever female you have, as long as you're producing an entire clutch of Enchis and the other male did not have Enchi in him, you can be assured that that male was the sole father of that clutch. I'm going to leave a link in the description as well as up in one of the cards so that you can actually check that video out if you're interested. And speaking of that male, he was the intended sire of a recent clutch of ours. We bred him to a hypo spot nose female that was possible head for Desert Ghost in hopes of proving her out. We did a live egg cutting on Instagram hoping that maybe we could show that he proved out for Desert Ghost or we produced some super pretty babies and... It was a little confusing because in the egg, some of these babies had a nice little shine. They looked one kind of way. It's like they kind of looked hypo. Maybe they looked a little desert ghost. It was pretty rough. Now that those babies have come out, we can easily say that he was in fact not the father and that the sunset is the one that actually did the job. And it was just interesting because he was paired early in the season while we were waiting for the pastel super enchi desert ghost male to come of age and size. And because we had no hypos, we had no desert ghosts, granted she could have proved not to be het, and we had no pastels, and most importantly, no enchies. So we could tell from that 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 male was not the father and that our sunset was and now we have another clutch of Double Het Sunset Project consisting of Spot Nose Double Het Sunset Hypos. All right, so for this particular video, granted this super chocolate is not being very helpful, I have a super chocolate, a white lace pastel fire, and a super blackhead. And all of those same rules apply when you're talking about supers. So when you're using the co-dominant form, you're basically shooting for a 50% chance that you're going to produce a lace, a chocolate, a blackhead, so on and so forth. Meaning if you're looking for that one specific animal, that female combo or that male combo, and you're already cutting your odds in half when you're producing what, four to 10 eggs on average, something like that. So you're giving yourself less opportunities and less chances to actually hit the genetics you want. If you were to actually use a super type animal, every baby within the clutch would be a chocolate, would be a lace, would be a blackhead. So you're able to improve and leverage your odds through math with what these animals produce. And not to mention the super forms of these things are absolutely beautiful. Hi, bud. Hopefully these examples made sense to you. When I am able to, this is the route that I prefer to use because I would like to improve my odds at producing things that I would like to hold back, as well as being able to guarantee the animals that I am offering. And I want to try my best to not misidentify any type of animals, especially when it comes to the co-dominant genetics. And now for the exciting news, as I mentioned in a previous video, we are doing our first show, and that is actually going to be this coming up weekend on the 23rd of July in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. This is the Gettysburg Battlefield Show, and it is a one-day show, so it is actually only on Saturday. We are going to be having a good number of boas there, as well as some ball python. And for the first 10 people that come by and purchase one of our animals, we are going to give them this. A shirt. And a super dramatic reveal. 
but we just made these recently and I really quite like them. They are front and back. And then the back has a QR code that takes you to all of our links and all that fun stuff. If you are familiar with the US Arc shirts, they are made out of the same material and I'm going to have both the same kind of gray coloration as well as white. Leave any questions down below in the comment section and also let us know what super projects you are working on. I know that your time is valuable, so thanks for taking your time to watch this video. As always, links for available animals are in the description, as well as a link to our Instagram where we post there daily, most of the time. Thanks again for watching.